In 1978, Ellen Langer, Harvard psychology professor, asked both a man and a woman to try and cut into a line for a busy copy machine on a college campus. Both participants approached approximately 60 subjects each asking to cut in front of them in the line with one of three questions. The first question was only to request as follows. Excuse me, I have five pages. May I use the Xerox machine? The second question included the function of placebo as follows. Excuse me, I have five pages. May I use the Xerox machine because I have to make copies? The third question was real information as follows. Excuse me, I have five pages. May I use the Xerox machine because I'm in a rush? The results were astounding. When asked the first question, 60% of subjects complied with the request to allow the participant to jump in line in front of them. When asked the second question, a huge 93% of subjects complied. And when asked the third question, 94% complied. In conclusion, simply giving a reason, whether a real one or otherwise, was enough to gain compliance. This is commonly referred to as the copy machine experiment. Through this experiment, Ellen Langer concluded that the use of the word because significantly increases the chances of compliance to a request. From this point of view, because is a magic word to persuade the other person. The results of this experiment remind us of the principle of persuasion, which we know well but often forget that when asking someone for something, the reason must be clearly presented. But the biggest lesson this gives us is that we shouldn't rush to guess that the other person knows while we're asking.